Blue House Books was first established in 2017 as a pop-up bookstore, so I would cart around bins of books and set up at like community events, other local businesses, things like that. And from there, I grew to be what I called a micro bookstore at Kenosha Creative Space. And then um, from there, I opened my first full brick and mortar store in September of 2020, right in the middle of COVID and chaos, um, which, you know, people were actually looking for comfort and things to do at home. And people started recognizing that they needed to slow down. They needed to take time away from screens. So books kind of had a renaissance. And I think COVID had a little bit to do with that. So we opened our first brick and mortar of 2020. And we were so busy that we needed to move out of that smaller space. And we moved to our current location in September of 2021. Uh, when I first went in, she was in her first location in that tiny little bookstore. Honestly, it was the books that pulled me in first, and then it was Sam and her personality and her employees, her staff, they have a really good energy here, and they just collaborate really well together. And it doesn't matter who's working, I always feel like they know me, I know them, and um, it just, again, her showing that interest in what I am looking for. It's the feel of the store, too, when I come in. It definitely has an ambiance to it that um, makes you not want to just come in but stay. Blue House Books success has to do with Sam and the events that she puts together and the community that she creates. There are other indie bookstores out there that maybe aren't as successful because they either don't have as many events or they don't have that sense of community that she and Blue House have helped to create. Our biggest thing is events. Um, so we bring in authors. Just a few months ago, we had two events um, back to back two weeks in a row that had over 120 people and we had to host it over at the roadie. We also do a lot of community collaborations. Um, so I've partnered with Equinox, the plant shop just down the street and we did like a new plant parent workshop. So you got like a baby plant and you learned how to take care of it. We've collaborated with Modern Apothecary um, to learn about essential oils, how to make your own blends. Um, so we've done a lot of stuff like that and then a lot of kids events. You know, it's not just about selling you an item. Um, books, the bookstore industry, we have the lowest profit margins in the retail industry. And so if I was just trying to sell you a book, I wouldn't be here for very long, I don't think. It's all about those events and community, community collaborations um, that really keep us successful and we want to do it. We want to give back to our community and provide these really fun, exciting events. I love that Sam supports every business. There is another bookstore in town and she is they support each other. I just think that's really cool that they don't look at each other as competition. It's just further supporting. They, they sort of have their own unique draw for different people, different reasons, but they just they just still support each other. They find a way to do that. I believe that Sam has brought some something very special to Kenosha. I truly do. I think that uh, a big thing that Blue House Books has that maybe not a lot of other big box stores that sell books has is a sense of community. Um, I can name probably 10 different friendships at minimum that were that either began here or were fostered here, which I think is pretty unique and something you're not gonna find everywhere. Um, and just bringing people together in a way that not many retailers do. There are a few factors of why we've been so successful. Um, one big thing is Kenosha is such a great supporting community. We have such a strong drive to support local in this community. Um, so yeah, Kenosha is a big, big part of it. I don't have the time to really think about recognition. And so when I get recognition, I'm always just like, flabbergasted because I'm like people see what we're doing here really that's really cool I'm just being myself and I'm just doing what I love and so to get recognition just for doing that is just amazing and it really brings you know the truth to like do what you love and the people will come or you know the success will come I'm so thankful because things like this are what's going to help keep us around for many years to come and allow us to expand and do even more events and collaborations and exciting things. So it's because of awards like this and recognition like this that we get to do what we love. So I'm so thankful.